Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel today. I am back on War Thunder and I'm driving out the Challenger 1. So this is the new British Tier 6 MBT and this is actually my first game in it. As of recording this video, uh, I have not done any more games. This is my only game in this tank. So this is basically my very first impressions on how this thing performs. So I'm going to take cover in these trees and cover friendly tanks going towards sea. Okay, I've just been hit. What we got there? Okay, KPZ. There we go. One shot, took him out so through the side arm of the turret, which isn't extremely weak anyway. Uh, it isn't extremely weak, but it's not extreme armor like on the mouse. Uh, I do believe the side turret of the KPZ has got composite armor, I believe, as far as I know. So it's not exactly uh, easy to go through, which does show how good this gun is. You've got a 120mm cannon, and the stock rounds are pretty good as well, as you can see down at the bottom of the screen. Anyway though, so I'm just giving cover to, uh, checking behind me, but I am basically giving cover to that AMX-30, who is trying to take the C-point. As far as I can see, I can't spot any enemy tanks, although there might be one hiding behind a building somewhere. So just gotta be careful with that. Okay. I don't believe there's anything there. Looks relatively clear. Oh, uh, okay, looks like he's repairing. What's there? Oh, okay, something's shooting. What is that? Oh, he's just... Oh, okay, he's killed another KPZ, so there's a KPZ-70. Now, uh, I will say one of the best things about this tank isn't really the tank itself. It's the things that tend to be on its team. You tend to be on the same team as the Americans, who, of course, have the M1 Abrams, perhaps the best tank in the game. So, this and the Abrams on one team you pretty much wipe out everything on the battlefield. So, uh, I have done a lot of games recently in the Chieftain Mark 10, and I've been witnessing this happening, Challengers and Abrams on my team, completely destroying the enemy within 5-10 uh, minutes of the game. Now that I've got the Challenger, despite this being my only game so far, I am still seeing the same thing. You are going in the Challenger or the Abrams. I don't have the Abrams yet, but hopefully in the over the next few months I'll grind down the American Tech Tree to get to the Abrams. But I'm still noticing that those teams are completely destroying everything. Oh, what's that? Looks like a leopard. Let's fire a shot. Nice, took out his gun. Okay. I'll try firing another one. Still getting used to this tank, so uh, let's see if we can get hit. Okay, bit low there, and I was... A Hit a bit. Oh, okay. Um, I'm guessing he either left the tank then or tried to fire his gun. Because I did hit the barrel and destroyed it. So if he tried to fire his gun, it would have exploded. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, though, so uh, that's two kills now, which definitely isn't too bad, uh, in my personal opinion, for a first game uh, in a tank. Especially a high tier tank. So far, we've seen that it can take a shot from a KPZ 70 with that. I believe it's a 152mm cannon slash launcher, so uh, can fire ATGMs as well. But I believe that's what it is, and it seems to have taken a direct shot from that direct straight to the sidearm, which tends to be one of the weakest parts of the tank, or easiest to get through. So definitely not too bad whatsoever in that department. The armour is really impressive. Um, I will probably be making another video on this tank at some point over the next week, because I will be doing an awful lot of games in it just because this is the thing I was most excited for in update 1.77 so that's what I'm going to be doing is playing this tank out getting lots of games in it and seeing how it does I will also be doing a video on the LA200 another vehicle I was very hyped for uh, it's a very interesting aircraft on the dev server the performance was absolutely amazing I've got quite a few videos on that on my channel so do feel free to go give that a look okay so I'm going to move up towards their spawn point. There are only two enemies left. I don't think any of them are at their spawn. But just in case they do get killed and we spawn, I'll be in about the right place to possibly take them out. What's that? Okay. It's a friendly MBT-70. Alright. So, yeah, I think they're pretty good so far. Just going to cover this area because I don't know if there's one over there because someone said KPZ in the chat. So I'm presuming that there might have been one near C, but it looks like there isn't, so I'm just going to keep heading in this direction. Heading near to the side of the forest, just to make it in the shadows, just to make it more difficult to see me. 
Um, but so far, for my first game in this tank, the experience has been pretty good. The armor seems to be very good. The gun seems to work quite well. And stock, you have good top speed of the tank. Not quite as fast as the Abrams and the MBT-70 and the KPZ-70. Uh, or the Leopard 2K, but it is a relatively fast tank in general. Uh, 35 mile an hour top speed, not too bad. Uh, the turret traverse, very good. Turns pretty quick, as well as um, reload time on the gun's not that bad. I think the reload time might be a little bit more than the Chieftain, although I'm not entirely sure on that, so you might need to double check that. Or it might be the same, because I believe it's the same gun. But overall, very good tank so far. I'm really happy that I uh, ground out the vehicle. Um, definitely good to have done it. It's taken me about a week to grind it. Um, although a day of that was just getting up some silver lions. Because at the moment with the whole economy and tank, uh, tank RB games, it's not the easiest to grind out a vehicle. But also have enough silver lions to buy it. Uh, at least for me. I'm get I was getting four or five kill games with maybe two three deaths and i was still only making a few thousand silver lines per game which did mean that it got quite difficult so i ground out the rest of the silver lions using the uh Proshkin's p39 the soviet rare uh, rare version of the p39 because that seemed to gain money uh, relatively quickly anyway though so it looks like it is pretty much the end of the game there's only one enemy left and he appears to be near a and there's about five friendly tanks closing on his position, so the likelihood is he will be dead very soon. He might respawn, because he's already killed a friendly, so and captured a base, so it's likely he will, and he's not died yet. So we're going to have to wait and see what happens with that. Uh, if he does respawn, I'll take him out. Although, the likelihood is he might just leave the game, because he's the last one on the enemy team. There's not much point respawning, so we'll just have to see what happens, really. And I'm going to try and get a good good position to try and take him out but yeah so pretty much the end of the game so uh yeah that was the challenger one the new british top tier mbt so far with the stock vehicle i am definitely not disappointed whatsoever uh one of the best tanks i've driven out recently uh, out of all the tier five and six tanks that i have in the game the armor is very very good apart from one weak spot at the bottom plate but i've not been killed by that in battle so far as you can see because of course this is the only game i've done although i did see on the dev server that is a weak spot of the tank anyway though so um yeah brilliant tank i would advise grind it out if you're near it definitely go for it because it's a really good tank so far in my opinion there will be more games on it in the near future on my channel anyway thanks for watching if you enjoyed please consider leaving a like maybe even subscribe to the channel that would be absolutely brilliant if you did Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.